Hey guys, welcome to our channel and in today's video I will show you how to fix the Elementor editor not loading in multiple ways. Plugins for WP. WordPress premium plugins and themes for an affordable price. So there are many reasons why Elementor may not load. It may be because of the plugin itself, maybe it's clashing with other plugins, maybe WordPress settings are wrong or the server settings are outdated. So we will show you a few ways to fix it. Let's start with the first way by changing the default editor loader method. So first of all, let's go to Elementor, settings and into the advanced tab. And here we will change this switch editor loader method to enable. Then just save the changes and try to reload Elementor. The second reason why Elementor is not loading is because you may have an outdated version of the Elementor plugin. So let's make sure we have the latest version. We'll go to Dashboard, Updates, and here under the Plugins list, we'll make sure all of our WordPress plugins are up to date. If they are not, we'll check them, and then we'll click on Update. Another possible reason why Elementor is not loading may be because the theme you are using is not compatible with Elementor. It's unlikely, but there is still a slight chance that that may be the reason. And let's eliminate it by going to Appearance, then Themes. And here we'll click on a different theme that we have. We'll click on Activate and we'll try Elementor again. If you don't have any other theme installed, just click on Add New and install the Hello Elementor theme because this one was developed by Elementor. Once you finish installing it, just activate it and check if Elementor is loading. Another probable reason why Elementor isn't loading, it may be because it's clashing with other plugins installed on your WordPress website. Those plugins can be like cache plugin or any other plugin that are using the same namespace or the same variables. So in order to know if that's the case, we'll need to go to our plugins page install plugin and here we'll need to deactivate all the plugins uh, altogether except Elementor. So we will check them all, we'll uncheck Elementor and we'll back deactivate them. Now we will try to load Elementor once again and hopefully it will work. And if now it's working it means that it clashed with one of the other plugins. So how do we find out which plugin is it clashing with? It's pretty simple we will go and activate the plugins one by one. So we'll activate the first plugin and then we'll test Elementor. And if it's working, that's not a problematic plugin. We'll activate the second plugin and we'll test Elementor once again and so on until we'll activate the faulty plugin that prevent Elementor from loading. The Elementor plugin has specific requirements in order to work properly. One requirement is to have PHP version 7 or greater and also to have WP memory limit to 128 at least. More on that to come later but for now let's focus on our PHP version. Let's go to Elementor and into system info and here we can see what is our PHP version. If you have greater than 7 that's great. If you have lower than 7 you'll need to upgrade it. You can contact your web hosting company to do it for you. However, if you have access to your cPanel, just go to the multi PHP manager screen. Over here, you will check the website that you would like to upgrade and you will choose the correct or the most updated PHP version and you will click on apply. And the last solution is to increase the WP memory limit from the default, whatever it is, to at least 128 meg. To do that, we'll need to edit our WP config file. Again, you can access it from your cPanel or FTP account. Just go to File Manager, look for the WP config file inside the root folder of your website, right click on it and click on Edit. Now, right inside this file, click on Control or Command F in order to search for a specific function and type in Memory. If the memory function already exists, you'll need to change the number inside of it to 512. If it doesn't, just paste the function over here and make sure to save the changes when you're done. You can also copy the same function from inside the written blog post. You have the link in the description box down below. Alright guys, so thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully one of the methods in this video help your Elementor to load correctly now. If it did, please let me know. If it didn't, also let me know what's your website and I can uh, inspect and investigate more into it. 
Please also like the video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel because there are more great videos on the way. I will see you all in the next video.